story you are about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. I look so cute. I feel so cute in the mountains where it all started. I'm 24. I'm in my mid 20s. That's disgusting. Pre COVID, I was 19. And now all of a sudden, I'm a grown adult. Ew. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling kind of down today. I think I miss my ex. So I'm just gonna pretend I don't. I think it's also just the exhaustion of being home with my son now every day and working. I've really been trying so hard right now to build up my baking business again. And I've been getting like two orders a day. So your girl is tired. My admin work has been off the charts. I've been doing invoicing. I've been doing data analysis on the ads I'm running. Like it's been, it's been a lot. here with Shannon. It's my birthday. I'm getting a facial. Do you have anything to say? Happy birthday, Alyssa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I just got brunch yeah. with my parents and I'm feeling good, of course, because I had a mimosa. So I have alcohol in my system. Who doesn't feel better? <laughs> <laughs> with alcohol their system. Go ahead and follow my TikTok. I'm doing a whole in-depth review of this place. It is beautiful. I have a little bit of experience in the beauty industry and I do have to say this is one of the best salons I've ever been in. If you've ever been into like a styling bar or somewhere like dry bar, it's like hard to breathe in there. There's like no circulation. And in this salon, the air feels so fresh. It's so refreshing. I don't know. I'm just, I'm obsessed. They are both a problem. Like I literally can't handle it. I can't. Yeah, red flag. No. No. He's the one who told me that I look like Tinashe and that if I put on makeup, I could pass. It's not so rude. Isn't that insane? Dude, what the hell? I'm scared. It's giving like Rihanna's forehead, which like we love her, but. She's got a big forehead. We'll take like, you know, some off. Mm -hmm. Baby beluga. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I'm making, I'm vlogging. Do you want to say hi? Oh my God, hi. 
Hi, sorry for the swearing. Oh, no, I say fuck like every other word. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> My friend Riley and I are going out. My skin looks so good for my facial. I, I already hate my brows. That's not good because usually if my brows start off really bad, oh, it means the night's gonna be bad. It's like an omen. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, it's hard to like go through those big moments in life single. The breakup was like three months ago. It is getting easier. There is this person. Am I gonna get into this? I guess I'm gonna get there is this person that I have been matching with on dating apps for a few years. It just like, I end up never meeting up. I'm currently not on dating apps, but they, they make sure to make themselves known. They isn't the person I always match with. And as we know, I was in a serious relationship for a year and a half, so obviously i wasn't texting them during that time but they would like hit me up periodically and i'm a loyal amazing wifey material so i would never say anything i didn't even have their number saved i didn't know who it was until finally i got hit up again from this random number i was like hello like who is this and they sent me their picture and i was like oh my god i remember you and anyway also for the short time that my ex and i were broken up before we had gotten back to them, had gotten back on dating apps and me and said person had matched again that time. So, as I said, they kind of pop up every now and then. And they popped up yesterday. Of course, the day before my birthday. Like, what are you doing this weekend? I was like, oh my God, it's actually my birthday weekend. Um, probably going out. It's dependent on my mood. If I decide to, I'll let you know, blah, blah, blah. And they hit me up today and they said, hey, happy birthday. They had said yesterday, like, you know, let me know what the plan is if you want to get together or something. And I don't know. There aren't red flags. Like, it's not. That's not the reason that I don't want to meet up with them. I'm not like, oh, they have this problem, this problem, that problem. Like, no, I'm just not in that phase, it feels like right now. Like, I'm on a men's cleanse, but. This isn't a men's, babe. This isn't a men's. I just feel like right now I'm trying to focus on my career and cultivate my friendships and be a good mom. And that I genuinely don't have the room emotionally, physically, any of that for somebody else in my life at this time. And I think that it's been so good for me to have space and alone time and try to get to know myself as an adult. I'm clearly, it would be so unfair to anyone if I jumped into anything also, because I'm clearly still healing from everything that happened. Because when you plan a whole life with somebody, you obviously had an entire life planned. So you had ideas about what it was gonna look like with this person. And then you kind of just have to start over from scratch again. And if I'm still hung up on that, even if it's something casual, that's not very fair to the next person. And it's very unfair to me. I deserve to get to know myself and figure out more what I want. And what I want right now is to excel in my career. So hope you guys enjoyed that random ass little TED talk. Also, I tried calling my best friend, not Luke, but Maggie. That bitch didn't answer like, ma'am, it's my birthday. I was planning on just doing a time lapse and talking shit with her. But she decided not to answer my call. That's my part. Hi. Hi, bud. I'm actually the ugliest person I've ever seen on the planet. Oh, well, I'm the hottest person I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, that's why we're besties. Fun and my lighting in my bathroom is so bad. Uh, yeah, we both have not good lighting. Yeah, so hopefully the lighting is better out and about. But guess what? I was so right.
fully flaking. So Riley's like, let's get ready right now and go out. So I think I'm just gonna drive over there and we're gonna like get food and hang out. All right, I like that plan a lot better. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it because also the Ubers are probably cheaper right now than they're gonna oh, be. they're really cheap until like 11. Oh. Just too sick to notice That I destroy myself again to ensure You remain the focus Reality is I'm ahead in my life But in my mind I'm somewhere with you It's easy to make love 